I just cannot imagine selling your entire company for less than it was trading for six months ago. All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I wanna to talk to you about some massive, massive news that hit this morning pertaining to a possible buyout of one of the major social media platforms. So I wanna dig into this. I did a video on this about a week ago predicting this, and I wanna do a follow-up video and, and let you guys know what happened. Of course, I'm talking about Elon Musk made an offer to buy Twitter. So before I get going, please, everybody, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And of course, please smash the like button. It helps us out a lot. So let's talk about what's going on because this is major news. Okay, so I'm just gonna read this article right here which came out this morning at 6.50 a.m. Elon Musk offers to buy 100% of Twitter for $54 a share. Now, I did a video about a week or a week and a half ago talking about is Elon Musk looking to do a hostile takeover of Twitter? And I will tell you, it was one of my least watched videos ever. So I wanna revisit this issue because now here we are, it's happening. And, and I wanna talk about the offer and what the board may do about it because my reaction to this, I think, is extremely different than what I'm seeing in the financial community and amongst financial analysts on TV. So I wanna let you know what they're thinking. I wanna let you know what I'm thinking. But first, I wanna let you know what the offer was. So let's go through this. Elon Musk offers to buy 100 percent of Twitter for $54 a share. The Tesla CEO, who had a 9.2% stake in Twitter, offered to buy the social media platform for $54.20 a share on Thursday. Here's what Musk wrote in a letter to Twitter chairman Brett Taylor as disclosed in a new SEC filing. Quote, I invested in Twitter as I believe its potential to be the platform for free speech around the globe. And I believe free speech is a societal imperative for a functioning democracy. However, since making my investment, I I now realize the company will neither thrive nor serve this societal imperative in its current form. Twitter needs to be transformed as a private company. As a result, I am offering to buy 100% of Twitter for $54.20 per share in cash, a 54% premium over the day I began investing in Twitter and a 38% premium over the day before my investment was publicly announced. My offer is my best and final offer. And if it is not accepted, I would need to reconsider my position as a shareholder. Twitter has extraordinary potential. I will unlock it. So that's Elon Musk's letter to the board of directors of Twitter. So this article finishes up saying Twitter confirmed in a press release that it received Musk's offer and said the board of directors will carefully review the proposal to determine the course of action that it believes is in the best interest of the company and all Twitter stockholders. Now, any one of us could have wrote that sentence word for word. That is, of course, the public response that a board of directors has to give when it receives a letter like this. It has a fiduciary responsibility to shareholders to do so. So there's really no information in their response. Okay, then here's a quote from Dan Ives of Financial Analyst. So he said, quote, it would be hard for any other bidders slash consortium to emerge and the Twitter board will be forced likely to accept this bid and or run up an active process to sell Twitter. Okay, so I will tell you that is 100% in direct opposition to my knee-jerk reaction when hearing this letter. The more I surfed around and looked into this, a lot of people are taking this very seriously and think that Twitter is gonna accept this offer. So I wanna dig into what that would mean and why I think they are absolutely wrong. I actually, when I read this offer, I didn't even take it as a serious offer. I believe this this is an extreme lowball offer that was never meant to be accepted by the board of directors. I don't I don't think Elon Musk has any intention of buying Twitter at that price. I do think he has some other intentions that I will get into. Okay, so here's reason number one. I want to take a look at the Twitter chart. This is the Twitter chart on the one day time frame. So each one of these candles represents one day. So you're going to see Twitter was around $31. So from that perspective, a $54 offer might seem like a reasonable offer. However, you can see in October of 2021, which was just six months ago, Twitter was trading just under $70 a share. So $68.77. So that is a significant premium above what they are being offered right now. And again, this is within their 52 week trading range, but they actually were even 
higher than that. If you go back to February 26th, Twitter was trading at over $80 a share. Now, again, that is its all-time high, but when a board of directors is looking to analyze an offer to sell 100% of the company, and that offer is significantly less than what the company traded for for probably half of the last year, I suppose they could put this to a vote, but there are many, many shareholders who, if they have to sell their stock at $54 a share, they're going to lose money on that. So it would be unusual to sell your company for such a very small premium. Certainly a premium that's less than what your company's been trading for in very recent history. So I'm quite stunned by the fact that analysts think that this is a very serious offer and that the board is probably going to be forced to take this offer. I don't believe that. In total, it's $40 billion. I know Elon Musk has a lot of money, but that is a big investment even for Elon Musk. Now, he's already made a big investment, but just 10 percent of that so so I don't know if he's serious again my knee-jerk reaction to that was this is not a serious offer this is part of a longer negotiation strategy to do something else altogether because I just cannot imagine selling your entire company for less than it was trading for six months ago there's been no massive shift in the story of Twitter they are earning money they their earnings for next year are expected to exceed this year's earnings and 2023 earnings are expected to be higher than that so they also expect to continue to grow at about a 20% compound annual growth rate. So this is a high growth company. They're, they're cash flow positive. Their earnings are increasing on an earnings per share basis. And their stock is in the middle of a dip right now. So it would seem very, very unusual. If they take this deal, then they know something that we don't know. Because this is not a good deal in my opinion. So I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments section. Let me know if you think this is a good deal or if you're a Twitter shareholder, would you want them to accept this deal and trade your stock in for $54? That leaves two other possibilities. So a total of three possibilities. One, maybe this is a genuine offer. Maybe Twitter's board of directors is going to genuinely consider this. And maybe in the end, Elon Musk will end up buying Twitter for $54 a share or some other negotiated price. That's the first possibility. The second possibility is he says right in the letter he would have to reconsider his position as a shareholder. There's two things that you could do in that instance and that would be to increase your position as a shareholder or get rid of your position as a shareholder now he's already said it's in his assessment this company does not work as a publicly traded company so it would not make sense for him to go buy more shares and put more money into what he has already deemed a formula that he believes does not work which leaves us with the alternative of him selling the shares that he has so it is likely if he does that, you know, he may make a half a billion or a billion dollars on this over the course of a one month period if that's how all of this ends. So, you know, that would not be a bad outcome for Elon Musk. I will say if we take him at his word, he seems extremely passionate about this free speech issue. And so it is possible there will be a negotiation. I do, if, if he does buy this company and he buys it for $54 a share, this will have been one of the great maneuvers of all time because he has put the board of directors in into a corner that they never should have found themselves in and they will basically in my opinion be giving the company away to Elon Musk at that price so so I think those are our scenarios he's either gonna leave altogether and just make you know maybe a half a billion or a billion dollars on the way out or they're gonna accept this offer and he will have bought this company for an unthinkably low price again I want to reiterate this is a high growth highly profitable cash flow positive company and with brand recognition and name recognition that's that's unparalleled in the marketplace so so although this would be a premium from the current price this would be a deep deep discount from their 52 week high and companies do not typically sell for a 20 or 30 or 40 percent return on their investment this company will be looking to provide a lot more to its shareholders over the course of the next several years so it would be a very very short-term short-sighted decision in my opinion if they were to sell the company for this price so I don't know the behind the scenes dynamics there may be more to this than I understand uh, this is my perspective so again please let me know what you think of this and if you think this makes sense who thinks this is gonna happen who thinks that Elon Musk is actually in this for the free speech and he's willing to spend his 40 billion dollars or is he just looking to flip out of his shares and make you know maybe a half a billion dollars real quick in and out I don't know the answer to that it will be interesting to find out you know Elon Musk is obviously a fascinating person 
person. He's probably the most high profile person in the world. He's also very unpredictable. So the last thing I'll leave you with is if we look at the stock price, it's up two and a half percent today to $47. So with an offer on the table, there's basically arbitrage going on now in the marketplace, whether or not people believe this offer. So a 2% move to the upside, a 2.5% move, in my opinion, means that the marketplace does not believe that this is going to happen. If they believed this was going to happen, there would be a much bigger move to the upside, not all the way to $54, right? Because there's always risk. But this is a very very small move on gigantic news, which leads me to believe that the average investor does not believe that this is going to happen. So those are my thoughts on the situation. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe and do us a favor and please smash the like button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.